Renalai, what is happening? Ah, please don't pull my hair. Ah, he's pulling my hair. We are on a journey from Bangkok to Lopburi, which is a small town about four hours north of Bangkok, four hours by train. And yeah, Patisha joined me for the journey. We're going to stay uh, two nights in Lopburi, which is also known as the crazy town in Thailand because the town is full with monkeys. And yeah, now we are at the Hua Long Pong train station, which is uh, about to close and uh, be replaced by a new modern train station. So this is probably one of the last train rides uh, you can take here at Hua Long Pong. And yeah, it's going to be a slowly ride for four, four to five hours, right? Yeah, yeah four to five hours with the train, but uh, we have time. It's uh, early morning now, about nine o'clock in the morning, so no problem. And the train ride was 28 baht yeah. only. Yeah, even for me as a foreigner. Sometimes the, the foreigners pay a little bit extra for train rides or, or entrance fees. But here, 28 baht for me, 28 baht for her. That is incredible cheap for a four to five hour train ride. And yeah, we now have air condition here. Just uh, the fans. How do we turn on the fan? Maybe here? Oh. oh, but anyway, it's actually not that hot. The wind is blowing uh, through the window here. I took a train from the Rua Lompong train station already a few times, and I don't know why, but it takes almost an hour just to get out of Bangkok because we're making several stops here. Ticket checked. And uh, yeah, we, are, we have driven for maybe five minutes now. And there's already the first stop for, for a few minutes. Why does it always take so long to just get out of Bangkok? <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> oh, we're slowly moving. Ten baht. Ten baht. Oh, this is a Cheyenne, right? Cheyenne, yeah. Ah. Alloy, nah. Okay. Okay. Go for that. Ah, yeah. Every time we make a stop, uh, there are some people walking through the train selling drinks and foods. Earlier, there was a guy here selling a uh, fried chicken as well with sticky rice. How is it? Alloy, alloy. That woman just threw out a plastic cup with ice. Okay, you actually see that a lot. If you have a look here, there's a lot of uh, garbage lying on the train lines here. So it looks like many people actually throw out things off the train. That was a uh, oh. <laughs> The horn was blowing. Where was I? Yeah, throwing things out of the train. I don't understand why somebody's doing this. But uh, okay. Oh yeah, I can try it all. Oh, very sweet. A lot of sugar, I think, but very limited, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, over half an hour already, and we are still in Bangkok. So, one hour and 20 minutes, and we are out of Bangkok. Made it to Ayutthaya, which is uh, actually a very interesting historic town. It used to be the capital of the old Siamese kingdom. So you can see many people get out here because yeah, it's just two hours north of Bangkok. Bye bye. <laughs> Another German. All right, we have arrived. Let's see if we can get out of here. Oh, okay. I can take it. Oh, so, total journey was 3 hours and 20 minutes, so a little bit shorter than expected, actually. Yeah, let's see if we can get a taxi to, uh, to our hotel before we explore around the city. See if we can find some monkeys. 
So let's see how hard it is to find a taxi in a small town. It's not a big town, not a small town. It's the capital of the Lopbodi province as well. Oh, we have some old ruins here already. Looks like a very old temple. Actually similar like the, the ruins in Ayutthaya, which is here, not far from here. Aww. Okay, asking uh, for taxis here now. Can, can call a taxi. Here. Oh, he can call a taxi. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, looks like it's just a, a friend of the, the restaurant owner here who's driving us now. We negotiated the price. And now off to the hotel. Actually, the funny thing is I heard about this town already like two, three years ago in German news. There was a report in the German news about the crazy monkey town in Thailand. Okay, cup from cup. All right, we have arrived at the hotel. So, welcome to our room, big bed. There's a big desk here as well. The bathroom looks totally all right. Super happy with it. Little seating area here. The view is like this over the fields. Not a city view, more like a country view. We also have a little balcony here and we are paying 650 baht here per night, including the breakfast. So I think that's a really good deal. But yeah, let's uh, go explore around the city and see some monkeys. Okay, Kopkun Markup. Thank you very much. So, we changed our plan a little bit because of the rather poor taxi situation here in town. We decided to rent a motorbike already today, which was our plan for tomorrow anyway. And yes, they do have grab bikes here, but no grab taxi. And it also seems like there's no taxi in general in town. So if you come to Lopodi, keep that in mind. And this place is where we're going to rent a motorbike. You arrived here first. Yeah. So you are the winner of our race. Because yeah, we had to take two grab mean? bikes. <laughs> we took a little bit of a detour. <laughs> yeah, two grab bikes from our hotel to here. And yeah, the bike we are going to rent is a Yamaha Gran Filano, which uh, was the same bike on my Isan trip a few weeks ago, maybe you remember. And the price here is 300 baht per day. And we're going to keep it for today and for tomorrow. Tong Nai Ling Ling. Where monkey? <laughs> We're actually pretty close again uh, to the train station where we arrived and around there we saw many monkeys already. Hello, hello. Look at this. Yeah, I think we have arrived the monkey uh, section, the monkey part of the town. <laughs> the monkey is drinking yeah. and only has one hand. It's so crazy to see that the monkeys actually act a little bit like humans, you know, drinking out of a bottle. I, I saw monkeys like this before opening bottles, like with a twist on top and then drinking it. That is quite uh, unbelievable, right? Hello. They look so cute, right? Oh, wow, look, how, look how many! Hello, buddy. <laughs> they look a little bit suspicious. Oh wow, it must be hundreds of them just here. They are everywhere. Oh wow. And many more over there. Wow, this is already a great place here. Wow. Oh, I think the old man is feeding the monkeys. Let's check that out. Wow! <laughs> Check this out! Ten oh. Alai, what is happening? I think the car hit the monkey, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think one car hit the monkey, which probably, I can imagine, happens quite often here. It seems like no monkey is really hurt. What are they doing here? <laughs> You're not scared, right? <laughs> Otherwise I can protect you. 
Oh, they're even in the shops here. And on the roofs. Everywhere. Oh, that is so crazy to see. I mean, actually, I read online that um, the city actually doesn't like the, the monkeys here. But they don't like push them away or make them leave or whatever they can do to make them leave. Because it actually become, or has become a tourist attraction. And yeah, the town even was on German news. The town is very famous and popular because of all the monkeys here. And yeah, it is an attraction or a thing that attracts tourists to come here. Not only local tourists, also foreigners like me to come here to see this. And that's for a good reason, because it is quite crazy to see. Somebody come. Yeah, my first idea actually was to, to buy some bananas and uh, feed the monkeys, but I also read that uh, you should not do that here. The city doesn't want that you feed the monkeys because that will probably attract more and more monkeys. You really have to uh, be careful where you put your feet here. Hello. <laughs> I think what's maybe not smart is uh, to pet them. You should not try to pet them because it's still wild monkeys, right? They can bite you. Maybe they have diseases. She is old, right? You think this monkey is old? Yeah. Like the, the old grandma pregnant. here? Or maybe she's pregnant. Maybe pregnant? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the monkeys are going inside the shops here. I wonder how are markets surviving here? If you have like a street food market, like we saw at the bike rental shop, like the monkeys can easily go and steal all the food from the stalls, you know? How a lot, right? Yeah, okay, do like the usual, usual activity. Oh, the monkeys just climbing the customers here, and that's normal. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but they don't hurt anyone. Oh, they don't hurt anyone. Another employee, right? Yeah. Is she, can you ask if she is not scared that the monkeys steal from the shop? Ah, okay. The monkeys steal? Yeah, always. Ah, yeah, yeah. But she has no food here, right? Yeah. When something yeah. lost yeah. is for yeah. monkey. Ah, it yeah. happens. The monkey steals something from the shop. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, just chilling here in the shop, the monkeys. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, cup and cup. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're actually uh, trying to uh, go over there to have a look at the ruins. Because uh, this town is actually one of the oldest towns in Thailand as well. And another monkey family here. So where come? How long are you? How much? 50 baht for you and 10 baht for me. Oh, that's okay. Hey, you maybe noticed that the building here looks very similar to buildings you can find in Cambodia from the Khmer Kingdom, for example Angkor Wat, which is probably the most famous one. And that is because the Khmer Kingdom in the 12th century used to be so big that they also ruled several cities around central Thailand. This one, for example, and that's why you have Khmer style looking buildings also here in one of the oldest cities in Thailand, in Lopuri. Oh, <laughs> that's a bat, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we have pets in here, but I think they are so smart that they will not fly against us. Ooh, but that was a little bit scary now, I didn't expect that. <laughs> but yeah, isn't it crazy to walk through a building that was built in the 12th century? That's over 800 years ago that some people placed these bricks here. All right, I'm trying to open the door again and the monkey is not letting me open the door. No, 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 don't come and say. What do you say? <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, the monkey is uh, protecting the doors here. All right, let's close it soon. <laughs> the monkey is all over me. I have at least three of me on me now. Oh. <laughs> help, help. Oh, he's my friend now. How many are on me? Two or one? Two. Two. Oh, hello. <laughs> Looks like I have a new friend. You want to travel with me? Ah, don't pull my hair, please. <laughs> oh. 
please don't pee on me. Maybe some of you remember one episode in Malaysia where I had a goat on my arm that peed on me. Please, monkey, I hope you, I hope you don't need a toilet now. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh. Yeah, okay. Patisha, I have a new friend. Should we take uh, him home to the hotel? <laughs> ah, please don't pull my hair. Ah, he's pulling my hair. <laughs> All right, buddy, it's time to leave. <laughs> please. Oh, there's one. How to make them leave? Like, it was all fun until you started to pull my hair. How to make him leave? I don't really want to touch him, you know, because I'm scared they will bite. I'm the monkey man now. Two, three monkeys on me. <laughs> but this one dude is not leaving. He's sitting on the back now, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't touch me! <laughs> oh. Can you please leave? Oh. <laughs> no, oh. <laughs> Okay, now it's getting... Uh... Okay, what, what do you do to make them leave? Oh, it's getting more and more. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, you can make him move with the stick. Okay. Nice to meet you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Whew. He did not want to leave. Oh, hello, <laughs> Whew, okay. I think uh, no scratches, he didn't bite me. You okay yeah. too? Shy. Alright. Are you? Yeah, sure, sure. I will take photo of you. Ah, oh, you can hold. I will take photo. Ah, oh, with the with tempo? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> ah, he's pulling my hair again. I need help from the man with the stick. Yeah, it's really not easy to uh, get rid of them. Can you? Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pop cook up. <laughs> yeah, I would really recommend bring a stick when you come here. They are scared of sticks. You don't even have to really uh, hit them. Just pretend to do and they leave already. Oh, he was really pulling my hair a lot. Hurt no, no, not hurt, but close to uh, hurt. <laughs> Tuna? Yeah. Tuna roll? Tuna roll with vegetable. Oh yeah, that looks good. Yeah. And spicy. So. Spicy for you. Yeah. <laughs> and just a tuna roll for me without spices maybe. So we were gonna try a spicy version as well. Okay, I'll un Okay. You want something from here as well? Oh, salad here as well. Some sandwiches here. Mm. You can hold um, some sipa. Thank you. All right. By the way, you maybe noticed that I'm wearing my 7-Eleven t-shirt for the first time in a video. Some of you in the comment section were actually asking me why I never wear it in a video. And this is the first time now that I actually wear it. But uh, you said it's very dirty in the yeah. bag, right? Because yeah. of the monkeys. Yeah. You can film it. Maybe it was not the best idea to have a white t-shirt today. So, uh, laundry tomorrow. Our Korea style pork here. Uh, combo set. Uh, ah, it's combo set. With, ah, ah, here we have it. Okay. Combo set. Fresh grilled pork meat here. Corn. Mushroom corn. It's papaya? Oh, papaya. Carrot. 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 Oh, okay. And some, some uh, cabbage, I think. Yeah. Okay. Cup and cup. Thank you. 75 baht for a huge box with pork and vegetables and everything. Mm. Looks alright. I'm actually curious why you see no monkeys on the market here. I mean, would be heaven for the monkeys. So much food here that they can steal. Yeah, maybe we can ask. 
Yeah, yeah. I would like to know the experiences of the vendors here with the monkeys. They're scared of people. They're scared yeah. of so many people. Yeah, with many people ah. like this, monkeys scared. Ah, okay, that, that makes sense actually. Cook, cook, cook. We call yum. Yum? Yes, yeah, spicy salad. Spicy salad. We have noodles here. Yeah. What is this? Pork meat? Hi. Shrimps? Shrimp. Tofu, I think, or sausage? Sausage. sausage and many many red chili flakes oh <laughs> oh it is definitely uh, not uh, spicy in the phalang version <laughs> in the thai version Ooh. but what i'm looking forward to the most now is the, the pork meat here because it looked so delicious on the grill let's try the pork meat here together with some corn Oh, this is fantastic. This is super delicious. Hi. With the spicy sauce. Mm How -hmm. mm -hmm. oh, spicy? Oh, this is more like um, sour, um, sweet sour, spicy sweet sour sauce. This one is uh, definitely delicious. Noodle? Noodle salad. Noodle and then we have... In Thai we call... Kui Tiao Lui Suan. Kui Tiao Lui Suan? Yeah. Kui Tiao is noodles. And then, yeah, inside we have tuna fish and some salad. Seafood. Seafood sauce? Yeah. I see, yeah. But definitely handable. If you like monkeys and if situations like you saw earlier aren't scaring you, then I can definitely recommend to visit this city as well. And also, if you don't like monkeys, they are only in this area over there, which you saw earlier. By the way, I will leave a Google Maps link to the place over there in the description. So it's not like they are all over the town, mainly just around over there. And yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, then leave a like. That really helps to support this channel. Every like helps and also it motivates me to see that you enjoy the episodes. And if you want to see another adventure that Patricia and me had together a few weeks ago, then check out the video right here. Thanks for watching, stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next one. Ciao, guys.